folks here in the crowd. And what I'd like to point out is that if I'm, we had- I'm a candidate for Congress also, for the United States Congress, so. Well, we need you to get off of the video taping and come up here and speak to us. Thank you. I give you Mr. Holder. Do you mind running that? You can zoom in on me, do whatever. Thank you. Almost nearly ubiquitous. Thank you. Video taping talents and oh, no. speakers, so here we go. I don't know about that. I don't know if I have any talents. Who's so. taping right now? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my name is Brian Holder. I've always gone by Brian Holder, but since I'm running for office, I've used my dad's middle name. He, uh, all, our whole family's lived here our entire lives in Council Office. I attended junior high school in Kern. I used to sit out here in the audience just like you are today. And uh, I've got a law degree from Creighton. I've got a BS in psychology from Bellevue. Start my clock, sorry about that. Uh, one thing you study in law school is contract law. And the basis of contract is free association, free choice. And over and over in this book of mine here, it says that contracts is the law of voluntary exchange. It says contracts are voluntary arrangements created by the parties themselves to carry out their own particular aims. Obamacare takes away our liberty of contract and it makes slaves of every single one of us. We now have the Internal Revenue Service that is going to be involved in our medical decisions. Everything about us, the government knows. They've got these data hubs they've set up. The government can't even protect secrets from a, from a millennial that uh, revealed to the world that they've been spying on all of us. And this is absolutely ridiculous in a free society that we have to put up with this. 157 years ago, the Supreme Court ruled in the Dred Scott case that African Americans were the property of other men. This was probably the worst decision the Supreme Court has ever made, and Obamacare is another horrible decision they've made. The court listed the different rights that if we upheld the citizenship of African Americans, they'd have the same rights as the white man. Well, we're all Americans now. We've been through civil wars. We fought wars of conquest, the women's liberation movement. We should all just get along now. But the rights that I want to restore to everyone are these rights that white people used to have that everybody has today. And I quote, it would give to persons of the Negro race the right to enter every other state whenever they pleased, to sojourn there as long as they pleased, to go where they pleased, the full liberty of speech in public and in private upon all subjects upon which its own citizens might speak, to hold public meetings upon political affairs, and to keep and carry arms wherever they went. Now, I bring you another quote. This is from Abraham Lincoln regarding liberty and tyranny. And you've all probably heard it, read it. Mark Levin wrote a wonderful book. I haven't had time to read the whole book because I'm trying to, to free a nation and, and free a congressional district. But the quote is, the world has never had a good definition of the word liberty. And the American people just now are much in want of one. We all declare for liberty, but in using the same word, we do not all mean the same thing. With some, the word liberty may mean for each man to do as he pleases with himself and the product of his labor, while with others, the same word may mean for some men to do as they please with other men and the product of other men's labor. Here are two not only different but incompatible things called by the same name, liberty. And it follows that each of the things is by the respective parties called by two different and incompatible names, liberty and tyranny. I'm here to fight the tyranny. I'm here to stand up for our liberty. Thank you. Thank you. That concludes the oh. speeches from our Congress Republican Party candidates. Thank you. Thank you. Representatives from our county and Appreciate city who are it. not running for office this year. Thank you. But I would like to recognize them for their oh, service. Thank would you. you please stand and then please a warm round.
It is June 8, 2013, and if you can watch this and hear me now, you are the resistance. I urge every American to resist every unconstitutional law, ordinance, anything they pass. Resist it. It is your right as a freeborn American. Good night, and may God protect us all.